How's it going guys? I figured that I would do a little overview here. So, you know, I know a lot of people have not uh, subscribed to Disney Plus. Uh, you know, I haven't really been a big fan of all of Disney's decisions and the way how they've gone about monopolizing the industry. But this service, I just subscribed to it yesterday. I watched The Mandalorian on here and I have to say this is a great uh, streaming service that's definitely worth your time. $6.99 a month, uh, which is the plan that I'm doing, or you could pay $70 uh, for a whole year, $69.99. Um, so, you know, if, th if that's something that you're looking to do, you could. But I figured, let's take a look. I'm going to show you a little bit around um, the Disney Plus. Uh, well, I'm doing it here on my computer, so this is going to be the site. So the app might look a little bit different. Um, but I'm going to kind of show you the functionality and, you know, this is my recommendation. That's kind of why I'm doing this. So let, let's take a little look here and uh, I'll show you around uh, my Disney Plus. So, you know, here, right, you know, you're going to see different shows flashing by here. Uh, Noel. Um, this is the world according to to Jeff Goldblum. So besides The Mandalorian, this is another show that's kind of like a selling point, their original series that they're going for here. Uh, I don't I like Jeff Goldblum. I think that it's going to definitely be an interesting show. There's Coco. This is a Pixar movie. So the basically, oh, oh my God, talk about a classic here, Home Alone. Uh, so they actually own this, this classic movie. There's so many things in Avengers Endgame. The, you know, you get to see all the Marvel Studios movies. The Simpsons, which I just started watching this. Yes, they watched the first episode. Didn't realize that the Christmas episode was actually the first episode. There's Avatar, in my opinion, the very overrated movie. But anyway, let me show you around. So, this is what I've watched so far on here. The Mandalorian. Uh, this is 80s Spider-Man. I didn't really watch it. I was... Just kind of curious how the theme song sound. Not really a great Spider-Man cartoon. This Simpsons, as I mentioned, and the classic Spider-Man. So, uh, yes, because they own Fox, you do get the the original X-Men and Spider-Man cartoons, and that's the '90s Spider-Man. So I'm going to show you. This, this is also really good too. The search function. So you saw how everything was like broken up into categories. Um, let me go back. So we've got Disney, Pixar. Marvel, Star Wars, and National Geographic, which is like, I always feel like this is going to be the least clicked on one, but there are some really like interesting things. They had like a, a interesting thing on like, you know, why dogs look the way they do. So that that's, you know, cool. But this is what I've been kind of been using to navigate is the search function, but let's click on some of these. So you got Disney. That's a nice little uh, gift that they got there. So it's broken up. You've got originals. You've got uh, animated movies. Um, so you know you've got Mickey's Once Upon a Time, Aladdin. Um, it's a little bit hard to navigate. You really got to click the arrow exactly. Lilo and Stitch, which I've never seen. The Lion King, which is my favorite Disney movie of all time. The Jungle Book, Cinderella. I mean, these are just big time classics. You know, you've got Sleeping Beauty. The Winnie the Pooh movie, Bambi, Snow White, I mean, and then you've got the live action movies like the Santa Claus and, uh, you know, I'll Be Home for Christmas. Uh, I don't know who's going to be watching that. You've got the Muppets, which are all over this show. I mean, all over this streaming network. You've got a, a bunch of different Muppet shows and movies. They just don't have the Muppet show because uh, I think that that is owned by someone else they i mean they own the characters but not the show i guess um you look at all this out of the vault the aristocats robin hood pocahontas 101 dalmatians inspector gadget which i've never seen and kind of scared blank check so a lot of people know this through the nostalgia critics review but it's actually a really fun cool movie from the 90s that i grew up with um, Steamboat Willie, the first ever Mickey Mouse cartoon. I mean, there's so much great stuff on here. Um, but here, you go to the search, and this is kind of how I navigate around. So, they got the, the, uh, Toy Story collection, the Darth Vader collection. Um, they've got the Muppets collection. And just, you know, let's take a look here at the Muppets. Like, look at all this Muppets content. 
They've got the Muppets Baby. So, but that's not the cartoon, sadly. But, you know, um, this is just some of it, actually. Uh, th I don't think this is all of it. Because they, they have more movies um, in, in another section uh, on here. I think if you actually just search under Muppets, you'll you'll see more. But, but take a look here. Like, I'm going to show you. Um, you got, the look, the X-Men cartoon. I did, like, X equals. But, look. This is the 90s X-Men show. You've got Wolverine and the X-Men. Um, just, wow. I mean, and then you've got, yeah, check this out. I almost forgot that they own these amazing movies, but you've got Pirates of the Caribbean on here. I mean, this is just, it's, it's a so, Peter Pan. You've got access to all these great movies and shows it, it, it's so impressive it's just it, it's kind of like overwhelming how much there is to watch you know and also for me like i said the, to watch classic simpsons and you know they've got all this classic content on here i mean look, look at all these seasons they've got season one season two season three season four season four. like look how much classic stuff that you could watch on here and i remember when i subscribed to hulu i was so excited i was like oh the simpsons are on here and then they have like the last three seasons which are awful but i mean going back and like you know i gotta tell you at the end of this first episode i felt like a lot of emotions like, i'm not like the biggest simpsons fan in the world but i am a fan i do enjoy it there's some really great classic comedy to be had um, but I'm not like, I don't feel like it's like super, uh, awesome, you know, like, like the greatest show of all time. Like, like a lot of people have said that it is, but it is really a fun and charming show. And like this first episode was really pulling out my heartstrings and, and I really enjoyed it a lot. So, you know, also let's take a look at the, the star Wars content that they have on here. Because, I mean, obviously, this is a big thing for me. I mean, I have the DVDs of a lot of this stuff. But it's nice to know that you could just start streaming it. You don't have to pop in the DVD. I also learned that um, they, they threw Hello Greedo here. Another great um, you, YouTuber who does Star Wars videos on here. A New Hope. This is actually a new version that they have. Where they kind of changed up the... Uh, once again, the Han Solo and Greedo. Say, like, when are they going to just stop it? Put it back the way it was... With Han shooting first, um, you know, I, I mean, come on, just stop it. You, you know, you you got to you got to stop with this um, this, this like changing it constantly because you don't want Han to look like a cold blooded killer. I mean, it's it's really not that big of a deal, really. Do you really think kids are gonna be like Han Solo? Oh my God, he's a murderer! No, you're gonna just look at it like basically, like Han's a cool dude. You know that that Greedo guy, he looked like a bad guy. Good thing he's out of the world. You know what I mean? That that's how they're gonna look at it as. So here's some Star Wars stuff that no one's gonna watch down here. This this Lego, you know, garbage. I mean, I haven't really tried it yet, so I shouldn't say that. Solo, which was not a terrible movie, but definitely not something I really enjoyed. Uh, very controversial here. Um, with, uh, The Last Jedi. Uh, you've got, um, Clone Wars here. This is the movie that I was talking about in my Mandalorian review that I enjoyed back in 2008 that I saw in theaters, but not a lot of other people, uh, enjoyed it. Uh, this is kind of, okay, I was looking for The Force Awakens. It's right over here. Uh, you've got Rogue One. So you're like, you're all set. You've got all the Star Wars movies. You're good to go. I mean, I understand that they're not the originals, um, which a lot of people are going to still complain about. But did you really expect them to do that? Then they've got The Empire of Dreams. This is a really good documentary. If you haven't seen it, um, I would definitely recommend it. And of course, go watch The Mandalorian. I, I mean, if you're a Star Wars fan, that I mean, a lot of people that are subscribing to Disney Plus or doing it mostly and one of the big reasons is for The Mandalorian especially with all the positive reviews that fans have been giving it um and of course you know let, let's take a look at some of the other stuff on here I'm gonna just show you they've got DuckTales the new one and the old one 
They've also got um, Darkwing Duck. You've got Bonkers, which is a show that I recommend also for people to see. I mean, there's just so many great things. And, you know, um, you've got a lot of, like, Winnie the Pooh content here. There's uh, just so much to love about this. So, I mean, yeah, guys, um, I, I got to tell you, if if you haven't subscribed to this already, I would definitely recommend. I was a bit apprehensive, too. I don't want to give Disney my money, but they own a lot of content. And I got to say, like, I'm not going to sacrifice possible enjoyment and euphoria by refusing this. And it's quite a deal. $6.99 a month. To enjoy all this great classic content, watch some classic 90s Spider-Man, uh, watch a few Disney movies, you know, uh, you've got access to basically everything on there. Um, just with the exception of a few little small things, but other than that, like, I'm kind of cringing when people are talking bad about this service because it's actually really good. And also people are like apprehensive, oh, it's glitchy, it's not what you guys just saw. I showed you all the content on there, did we have any glitches, did anything go wrong? No. So, anyway, guys, let me know. Have you subscribed to Disney Plus just yet? If you have, let me know what you think of it. Do you agree with me? you think it's awesome? Uh, and if if you're not a subscriber, uh, wh why are you apprehensive about subscribing? I'd love to know. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell so you get all notifications when I post all my new videos. And, guys, thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.